One bird has managed to break this long obligation to return repeatedly to land to feed its chick. It's called the ancient murrelet and it doesn't feed its chick on land at all. The only place it nests are on islands around the northern rim of the Pacific, like Canada's Queen Charlotte Islands, where I am now, and the only time you're likely to see it is at night. This is one of the nest holes. The chicks, when they're only two days old, make one of the most astonishing journeys made by any chicks. The parents come back from the sea at night and, crouching on the ground, call to their newly hatched young. In response, the chicks come out of their holes running. There are large aggressive mice that will catch them if they get the chance. Ravens and eagles are also active during these light nights. The chicks are in real danger, so they run and run fast. Their parents have gone ahead of them and are now calling from the sea. By midnight, there are young chicks swarming all over the forest floor. Most of them manage to get to the beach within 10 minutes of leaving their holes. But their parents are not here. They've gone farther out, just beyond the breakers, and they're still calling. The chicks don't stop. They keep pedaling like little clockwork toys, and the same movements that propel them across the ground now take them out to sea. In some miraculous way, each chick recognizes the sound of its parents' voice. United, the little families leave the land and its dangers and sail away into the relative safety of the open ocean. The chicks are still only a few hours old. The ancient Murrelet must be the most truly oceanic of all birds.